Hey guys, it's Dr. Kirby here and we're back with another video. In today's video, we are going to be doing a quick review of the Battle Pass to see if it's worth the 6 bucks. But judging from the price alone, 6 bucks TLDR, I think it is worth it in the end. It's way more valuable than what Street Fighter 6 presents. Um, you know, because we get the, the amazing Narmaya skin at the last level. But what about the other rewards? Like, what can you get, you know? Um, honestly... This is way better than what Grand Blue had back in the past um, battle passes. I think this is my first. Uh, this is the first Grand Blue game I played. Obviously, I didn't play the old. Uh, I didn't play the old uh, Grand Blue versus, but I saw a video about the pass and I saw the round one, which is this one, and they kind of somewhat gave the same rewards, but it wasn't as incentivizing than this one, in terms of because majority of the time I think back in the past they gave weapons for rpg mode and i don't think that's really the emphasis now here but you can see from the free pass we get around 270 rupees and some icons and for your profile and the character is this her is this her um like illustration pose for her for battle and at the end of level 30 we get a cute um lobby avatar partner now, for the pay track, there is a lot of weapon skins that we need to get into over here. And we also got some new colors. I think there's around 21 colors in this game. So we're gonna we're having 22. So we have one for Gran, Andre. Who is this? Anila. This is a really good icon for Theox. I think this is for the battle thing. Like the battle... The ready up. <laughs> Whatever. We got another weapon for Yule. Oh, I love Yule. This is a nice one. And then we got some stickers over here. We got a Zoe 101 color. This coloring is a bit weird, but I guess it has a theme. Blood red, I guess, for Lucilius. We got a Siegfried. We got a nerf her. Um, we got a badge for the Narmaya skin. We got a skin for Lucilius, which is kind of cool. And this also confirms that he has 21 colors on release. Or I don't know if you have to grind his um, palettes on the... What do you call that? You have to grind his palettes on the crane game. Um, I haven't been online in a while, so it's like I literally the, I haven't played in days, and this is literally the first, you know, uh, time I turned it on. More rupees. I I'm honestly going for the rupees. What is this? A Cagliostro. She looks like her um Grand Blue. What's that? She looks like her Grand Blue Fantasy Gotcha Splash Art Alchemic Gotica. Isn't that her like unit? Let me know. <laughs> I don't have that game in this region. And then the last level we get um, on the Narmaya skin, which is honestly a serve. I, I the only the, uh, I love all the illustrations that you can use here and the stickers, but my goal is the rupees. <laughs> um, and I'm trying my best to save up some rupees because I didn't know this. Um, if you go to the rupee shop, you can actually buy you can actually buy um, Lucilius up front. Which is kind of cool, kind of gave me Street Fighter V era, remember when you can buy them with fight money and all of that. Um, so yeah, obviously I haven't, this is a lot of grinding, it's going to take years, you have to be really consistent with this game. Um, so yeah, but one more thing before I go, in the end it is a worth it battle pass, honestly everyone should get the pass um, if you don't want to have FOMO. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen with this. I think at the end of the day, you can get the skin for the same price as like Lucilius and the Grand and Jira skins. But you know, I'm not a marketer, even though I love marketing. Um, let's talk about the missions. It's very easy. Majority of these uh, are in missions that are online. So do two raging strikes, two dash attacks, and 200 damage. I think you can do that in like one to two matches. But the weekly missions are spend a total of a thousand SBA gauge in online matches, meaning you have to probably use your uh, Skybound art like 10 times to get this mission finished or even do your installs like Grimnir's um, thinking about Bob. See, I'm not really good at finding game terminology, guys. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> and the I think the hardest part of the weekly missions to me is 10 stages of Grand Brews. Granted, they did buff the Grand Brew XP, um, you know, giving the amount of XP that they give in uh, Grand Brew. So I might play it, but the queue times is just long and I don't know if people are going to be playing, but I think if you want to start the week off right, I think it's important to just prioritize the Grand Brews first because you're one and done with it and move on. But yeah, that was the video for this. Um, this is my second Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. 
video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, like if you don't dislike, if you guys subscribe, notification bell for never upload a new video. I'm a VTuber who does content, so you know, a variety of which, but I'm known for like, you know, the mobile gaming and stuff. Um, what else? Join my Discord link description below. If you want to fight me in Grand Blue, fight me. Um, join my Discord to let me know. Um, follow me on Twitter at Dr. Kirby underscore YT. What else do I say? Uh, underscore YT. Follow me on Twitch at Dr. Kirby TV. If I'm streaming Grambly, you can see me there. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.